Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Before we get started on this video, I'm gonna move you a little bit. How about that, huh? And I'm gonna tell you what a little bit of what's on my face and nails here because if I don't, people always ask and I, it, yeah, might as well just tell you. A new favorite of mine, although it's chipping, it's patted on for, for four days now, is a nail polish called, from Color, Cl Color Club. And it's in the color Will Never Be Royals. So it's so cool because it's a chrome and it goes like rusty and purple and blue. It really depends on like, you know, what you're wearing and whatever, I guess, just the lighting. Um, my eyes is a new purchase for me. It's from a Canadian brand called Lise, Lise Watier. This is a liquid glitter eyeshadow in the color Stardust, which is the name of her new line for Christmas. This is what I have on my actual lids, so super happy with that. <clears throat> and on my lips, I have all over my lips. It's from L'Oreal. It's Lalac, shiny or yeah, shiny full coverage lip color. And the color, oh sorry, the color is actually so small. Lacky Charm, Lac for lacquer, Lacky Charm. And then I put some of this on top, which is also from Lee Swatche, which is the same brand of the eyeshadow, um, the liquid shadow I told you about. I posted it on my Snapchat, on my Instagram. It's a topper, you guys. You can't tell, there's a light, there you go. There's a light in here. And then there's a huge mirror, which is like perfect like seriously perfect so what I did is I topped a little bit of this on top and what I did is I did use my finger to apply it as this is a more of a clear gloss with like some iridescence to it I don't want to make that change so I don't think people understand that how many times I get DM'd PM'd whatever asking me do I still like candles do I hate candles what do candles do to me I'm like, what do you mean? Because what it was is when I started this channel off, July 24th, I think it was, in 2015, a lot of it was to do with candles. In fact, most of everything I ever did on this channel was candle, candle, candles. And a lot of it was Bath and Body Works and then going to winter for in Canada, like Winners, Home Sense, um, that kind of thing, the discount stores. And, the, you know, the, they were, they, that's how, cause I started, I really enjoyed those videos. So I, I wanted to put my two cents worth into it. And that's why I started my channel. I'm like, I saw other people reviewing it. And I was like, yes, but I always had a yes, I agree, but. So it was kind of like, and I kept seeing that over for like two years of me watching. So I was like, I'm gonna make my own videos and, and provide my own feedback. And if two people watch me, great. And um, here's the thing because one starts off their channel in one direction and that is a popular direction and decides to do something on their own and I think many YouTube creators right now are feeling that. It doesn't matter what genre you're watching, I think at some point in your YouTube experience you kind of like go like, you know, I'm kind of not getting bored of it but there, there are other things. You opened your mind to other things. And for me, it was wax melts because of friends like my friend uh, Tanya in Florida, Ramona, um, friends of mine who have sent me some amazing random act of kindnesses when I was still doing candles, but I was receiving such amazing uh, wax melts from these ladies. And they smelt amazing. Like I couldn't get a candle to do that. And you can make what out of what? You can you can do your own blending like it just it just wow because i was just used to bath and body works candles being oh here this collection we have 20 out this collection and that's what you get well until you try your hand at something different you don't know what you're missing and maybe it's not for everybody and i get that but i really enjoyed the vendor wax i enjoyed the small community the not only the small community, but not a hyped up Bath and Body Works pump, pump, pump. And don't get me wrong, I love Bath and Body Works. This is a video to tell you I still love candles. Clearly, I still love candles. It's just, I don't, even in wax melts, now that I've reached a certain point in my wax melt experience, I am not buying and hauling like I used to. 
because I have enough and all, oh, more than enough. But I've also experienced now which vendors I enjoy more than others, or there are certain favorites that come from certain vendors that I can't get anywhere else, or another vendor has tried and it just doesn't hasn't worked, and that's fine. But you know, as long as that that one comes up on a restock or whatever, I'm all over it. But people have asked me so much in the last, I want to say two years, do I hate candles? What did they do to me? They didn't do anything. It's just broaden, broadening my horizons. I think also too, to what's also to note, I'll show you guys what candles I have right now. There's the three burning there and then I have a few right down here that I'll show you. It's not that many. Now, I love candles. I tend to, and I've actually talked to a couple of YouTubers and you, if you're watching, you know who I'm talking about um, because I'm not going to name names, but I feel that fall and winter. So right now people are burning lots of candles and I too am burning more candles. It's the ambiance. It's the season. I'm home more. Well, especially right now, but even when I was um, not, or when I was working on weekends, it's cold and miserable. Like we're supposed to get snow tonight here. You know, it's that warm, warming, um, feeling it's the ambiance. It's part of your decor, that kind of thing. But spring never, ever, I hated spring and candles. Actually spring was my worst year. I, that was, it was the, um, least enjoyable year for purchasing candles when it was all I did was candle purchasing because almost everything was floral and I'm not a floral gal and it was just like what no so I found myself just pacing out like backing out a little bit when it came to burning in the spring and summer although I did burn a lot more in summer than I did in spring because the scents were great like um, all those really yummy fruity scents that you just like crave. They, they had me, they spoke to me and I did, I did burn a lot. So when I was home, I burnt a lot. So I'd say spring out of the four seasons, there, it was really the only season that I did not enjoy it. Another thing you guys will have, if you've been around my channel for a while, you guys may have remembered, I used to do throwback Thursdays and throwback Thursdays were a lot of fun. But then I started feeling like every time I went to Winners and, and any of the discount stores, I felt like I had to buy candles for the next season if I didn't have enough. And then I started mixing wax melts because again, I was like, you know, I started just, it was all about candles. Like, like so, you know, anyway, you can query that on my playlists. I have throwback Thursdays. There's a lot of them. And it was fun because it was interactive with you guys. But at the, at the time, I was just like, what am I doing? Spring's coming up. I don't have any candles. I hate Bath and Body Works candles in spring pretty much. I really det just de detest that the scents that come out. I guess I've I gotta scramble. I've gotta go and find like 13 candles to get me through the four months in spring. Or three months? Three months in spring. Because I considered spring was March, April, and May. And so every Thursday someone picked from my channel which was fantastic that part about it fun but I was like I'm wasting money because not all of these I would have bought just because I you know just I didn't like the scent but I felt like I I felt like I had to um to buy to make and create those videos for you. And then I started seeing that my videos started dwindling, like the views, sorry, for my Throwback Thursdays really dwindled down. They used to be very popular and then it dwindled down. And so it confirmed to me at that time that I'm gonna stop doing Throwback Thursday. It was the only thing that I had on my channel that was on a specific date. I, I like to throw up a video every couple days, if right now, cause I can, um, but, in that time, it was the only thing that was structured. So it was like a release too. I, I didn't have to worry about getting it up at a certain time. You know, I've talked about this to the other YouTubers as well. Like, you know, if you're feeling so anxious because you need to pump out these videos, check yourself, step back and go, for what? Do you love what it is now? Is it 
doing it for you. And if it's not, then don't do it. So my decision after noticing my views were going down quite low, they used to be quite high for Throwback Thursday, and nothing had changed. So I realized that you guys, by not viewing, and that's how we as creators know your, your duration of watching our videos. We can see how long, in general, uh, on average, sorry, on our videos, people are, are hanging around. We can tell, um, you know, lots of things about our videos. The likes, dislikes, I could care less about those. I, just, I still believe that if you're gonna thumbs down somebody, which I'm sure because I'm saying this, someone's gonna do it. I don't care, go ahead. I believe that YouTube, and I've written to them, if you're going to have the option to have a thumbs down, then in order for your thumbs down to be popped up on our like information, it should say from who it's from and the comment as to why. Give us feedback. Why is it a thumbs down? Is it because you're in a bad mood today? Is it because it's something in the background is annoying? Because if you're watching this video and you don't like the person, then why are you watching? But there should be a, like there's always comments. You can leave comments down below, but people are just trolls and they do that on purpose. And most of, not everybody, but a lot of them don't have like their actual physical face in their little, um, what, what should we call it? Um, YouTube face thing. They're not necessarily real people. They don't want to share that it's them. And above all else is that you may get five thumbs down on a video, but you don't get five comments suggesting what it was that they were not enjoying. So we can improve it. And again, if it's not me, you don't like me, then don't watch. That's one way to improve your own life. If you don't like me, don't like somebody else, just unsubscribe. I mean, I just don't understand, but it's a game, uh, generational, emotional, psychological. Um, there's people that battled certain things and I may just tick them off. And I'm okay with that because guess what? I'm 41 years old. I've seen it. I've heard it. I've been there. I've done that and bring it on and whatever. I, all I do is chuckle when I see that. So let's get back to the candle thing, the reason why we're here. So my interest level for candles was getting pissed off because Bath & Body Works, the quality of Bath & Body Works at one point was fantastic. That was when I got into candles. I wanna say the Bath & Body Works opened in my old city where I used to purchase them from. I wanna say 2012, 2013, so then I could actually buy it physically. And I, I, I bought a lot before I even made videos. And it was when Harry Slatkin was making the candles and it was Slatkin and Co. instead of White Barn. And, and they were great candles and it was new to me. So everything was new. Every collection, there may have been one or two that was like a repeat. But you know, but everything was new to me because I was new to that game. But then when you've been in it for a while and then Harry leaves and does his own thing and that's, that's a whole other, that's whatever. I'm not even discussing his new brand. But Bath and Body Works, their need and greed to repackage so much. You cannot tell me that Japanese cherry blossom is the number one sm selling scented candle and you're, what? To who? I mean, no, dis no disrespect to anyone who loves that, but of everyone I know who, do who does videos, who doesn't do videos, who just buys candles, they avoid that candle and the mahogany teak wood, like, ugh. But they bring it back, they keep repackaging it, and if they don't repackage it with the exact same name with a different label and a different look because it's a different collection, they whip up some other neat little name and they slap that on there and go, boom, there you go. That was as no annoying. Like the whole pink petal tea cake thing, I'll tell you, I was excited. I was just like everyone else. I really wanted to try pink petal tea cake when it first came out. And I think the store that, again, I was local to at the time, only I even, I remember they told me they only got like one case. And of course they were, it was gone before I even got there. So I was like, oh darn. But Christy, uh, sent junkie zero three. She sent me with a D stash that I purchased. She sent me a ch um, a candle. It's like a she took it out of the jar, which was perfect because just the breakage of, and all that stuff. 
And I, so I'm very thankful because I got to try this said candle that went all over the internet. Everybody was talking about it. It's the most amazing thing ever. Oh my God, I'm gonna die if I don't get it. And I'm very thankful for that. But my good grief. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I melted this thing going, what's the big deal? Mm, okay, I get it. Everyone's got a different nose. And I'm like, but I'm like, I, this isn't an end all be all for it. But I think what it is, just like everything else, Bath and Body Works get something hyped up. They will roll on that, they'll run with it. And then what did they do for like three years? They never brought it back and people were begging, people were writing to them. People were you just so always in your own videos saying how much they wanted it back. And you know, they only have like 18,000 in their back stock. That's a whole other story, but um, <laughs> you know, and, and then what did they do about three years later? They brought it back, which was amazing for all of you guys who love that scent. That was amazing. They brought it back in a certain collection. And then the next collection came out, they brought it back again. And then another collection came out, boom, there it is again. It's like, do they not understand that if they bring it out, say be it springtime, cause it had a floral sweet, like a cakey floral scent. Bring it out in the spring. Have people excited every spring that they're gonna get this. Then there's people like me who, and I know I'm not the only one, who's been waiting for Cranberry Pumpkin to come back from Bath and Body Works for years. It came out that one time, I bought a bunch and then lost all but just a couple um, in my big candle d disaster that you can query on, you can search if you want. Um, and I just have a little bit left that I chopped up. So it's just, I don't understand their, their method to their madness. I don't get it. Not quite understanding but whatever whatever works um and i'm not dissing bath and Works. i love bath and Body Works, but here's the thing their prices keep going up this isn't news but their prices keep going up but their quality is going downhill like out of say five candles now like newer ones that i'm purchasing three of them have major issues right off the hop or at the 50 percent mark and below they get penny wicks or I get the kerosene scent or something as we all are aware of what can happen. And it's just so frustrating. I know I want nothing but success in these candles. I bought them and I want them to work because at this point I'm buying the candles that I want, the scents that I want in a reasonable amount. And again, everyone's got a different budget and a different lifestyle, but I realize I did it in the past and I've stopped. And I really kind of realized that if I like a candle a lot, I'm going to buy two. And if I just like a candle, I'll buy one. But there was a time I would come out of Bath and Body Works every couple, well, every time they would release something in the extra large big bags that they had. And I'd have in that bag two of their flats or candle crates, two levels. So 12 candles. And I would walk out with two bags. And there may only be like four cents that are different, but I bought like a multiples. Cause I was like, I went crazy. At one point I checked, I posted something on my Instagram. I want to say it was January 27th, 2017. So not quite two years ago. I had 161 just Bath and Body Works, three wick candles, nothing else. 161 Bath and Body Works three wick candles. I am happy to announce that I have one, two. I have a total of eight. And a lot of these ones are newer too. So um, as you guys are aware, I, I did, uh, for, and again, it's all on my playlist. Please help yourself go take a look at the playlist. There's a chopping video. It shows you what I do. I do choose with Bath and Body Works to freeze mine and then take them out. And there's a couple of little things I do in between. And then I chop them up and I put them into bakery bags or now um, bigger like um, polypropylene bags that are appropriate for that size. They do not fit back into the jars that, they, that the candle came in because now you've pieced it up and it's not, it's like a puzzle. You have to put it right back the same way in order to fit that. Um, those wax melts back in there, right? But it's economical with the sale coming up um, first I want to say it's the first Saturday of December, which is actually like the 7th or something like it's kind of later in December um, 
yeah, I want to go. Yeah, I want to take a look. But like I was four years ago or three years ago, two and a half years ago, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, I got to be the first in line. Oh my God, I got, you know, like I have a list. I used to make lists and lists and like I go online and, and what's another thing too is they make online exclusives on Bath and Body Works. I'm like, oh, seriously? So we'll never get them here in Canada, that's for sure. Because no one's going to return them. Anyway. What I'm trying to say is I still enjoy candles. As you guys know, I did chop up a lot of my candles, um, but I have burnt a lot. I've, I've really reduced the purchasing. I have burnt a lot over those two, almost two years now, or two years, almost three years. Yeah, it's almost 2020, Ooh. almost three years now. I've gifted some, like if you're going to go to someone's house for dinner, how fabulous. I always have a plethora of bath care, body care, and all that stuff. So what I'll do is I'll take, like the last, I went, I was invited for Thanksgiving dinner. I took a candle and the same scent in hand soap, wrapped up in a nice little plastic gift wrap with a, like a little bow on the side. And that was the hostess gift, like as a thank you. And they're so appreciative. Everyone's appreciative of that stuff. Whether they all burn it themselves or they'll regrift it, I might get it back for all I know, they might forget. But um, yeah, it's just, and the people who buy 30, 40 of one cent, I don't understand. I don't. I think there's more to it in anything when we buy too much. I think that for me, I'll express for me why it was that I probably went crazy with buying candles and whatnots. And then even at one point, wax melts. I, I wasn't um, in love with somebody. I felt um, there was an empty void in me. Um, and I'm not, I'm just put, putting it out there that I felt like I needed to buy these candles and share it with you guys. Like, cause th this was all I had really. And I mean, I went on dates and stuff, but I didn't have anybody worthy enough to, you know, obviously get married until, until recently. And I think it was a little bit before I met Nelson though. I think I just kind of, I kind don't of want, I checked myself, like I said at the beginning of the video. So I checked myself and, but then I met Nelson and I felt like, I think I felt a little bit more fulfilled. And whether it's purchasing makeup, purchasing candles, overeating, um, over exercising for some, um, to the point where your, your body is breaking down in other different ways than overeating would happen. I think we all have our own thing. I still love makeup. I still buy makeup, clearly, but I'm not doing it the way I used to. And um, my priorities have changed, I think. And I'm enjoying the gym again. I'm giving myself time to go to the gym um, every other day for, I'm doing cardio for a bit. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is everyone has their vice and there's normally a deeper issue as to why that vice is. And that's just whether you choose to acknowledge that for yourself, um, it's up to you. Many may disagree, that's fine. That's just my own personal opinion. Um, you know, and I'm telling you right now, that's exactly what happened to me. Um, I went years without someone who like to love somebody like deeply love somebody and um, and then I met Nelson and you know like yeah your priorities totally change um, I don't have kids you know I have a cat that's not you know she's not she's older she's doing okay um, but she's here and you know um, and I'm home a lot now you think right now because I'm home I'd be buying all the time doing all this and I don't know <laughs> You know, I don't even get that excited. I mean, I get excited when I go once a month, maybe to Bath and Body Works, but I used to go every two weeks or more. Cause if a collection came out and then another one came out, like, I don't know, shortly thereafter, um, or the stock came in that I was looking for, I would go, I mean, it's just crazy. It's totally crazy. You prioritize yourself and we only have ourselves to check. Check yourself. That's it. That's not a rant. And just, again, I gave you guys my own personal experience and my thoughts on that. Um, so going from 161 candles, just in three wick candles from Bath and Body Works to eight now, two that I'm wearing here and six that I might as well just show you guys right now. And I'll show you the other candles that I have that are not Bath and Body Works. Sorry, it gets bright when I move. 
So I have a couple repeats because they are my favorites and they are from different uh, lines. This is a um, Frosted Cranberry. I have, uh, I have one chopped up, I believe. Then there is this one, which is an older packaging. I love this scent. It, bur it is normally burns well. We'll see, obviously, um, how it goes. Because, like I said, I, there, you know, there's a couple that burnt horribly right off the bat, and then burnt down a bit, and then corrected themselves. But generally, um, I get a good burn from here to about here, and then from about 50% and lower, the struggle bus is real. So I have two Frosted Cranberries because I absolutely love this scent and I am thankful it comes back. So this is newer packaging. It came out for fall of 2019. Just, it's beautiful. I love, you know, again, if you've been around my channel for a while, you guys know I love like tart cranberry scents. I like, like the sugary cranberry, that kind of thing. Just, mm, yum. Um, okay, let's go on to another one. Another one that I did burn an older version of this candle this past fall, so like about a month, it was in my empties. Um, this one is an autumn. Another one that reminds me of my hometown, and I do have this chopped up as well. So I have one fully chopped up, and it will last forever, you know, chopped up and, and melting it that way. This is beautiful, and I love the packaging. I know I'm not necessarily about the packaging, but I mean, it's cute. I, I think the fox is, is foxy, but there's that. And then I, I have this one for when we have our faux tree up, which will be, um, Nelson gets back on the 23rd of November. So shortly thereafter, we'll be doing, excuse me, the tree. I might do some stuff for my videos on the table. I filmed just on the other side of that couch, but Anyway, I keep things like evergreen or pine or whatever it is. I normally keep a candle around so you burn it in the evening when, you know, sitting around. Again, ambiance and to set a tone. Fake tree doesn't have a, give a, a lot of scent, but this will. So there's that. And then this one was gifted to me. I was given two of these, of which I did chop one up because it was like, it's really good. And it's another one that so many people miss because it hasn't been back in a couple of years, I don't believe. But that is the Winter Mint and Spruce. So I was gifted this by a subscriber and a lovely woman who used to, we didn't live that far away from one another. She came to my, well, she asked if she could, and I said, absolutely, she came to my work and she dropped off the, the two candles. She ordered these online too. So in Canada, I mean, it's very expensive for us to order online, regardless of the coupon. It's still the shipping and then the customs and ugh, you know, and then by then you never know if you're gonna get a candle with a whole bunch of glass in it. This is beautiful and I've been saving this to, to burn again this winter. So, and I've got the melts as well. And the last, oh, and I have vanilla birch and pumpkin vanilla, which is the squat candle, which is a shorter, wider, squatter version. And those are lovely. They're great. Um, this one was cranberry woods. So my first favorite is cram, uh, frosted cranberry and then cranberry woods. Again, because I love the cranberry. So that's what I have for candles uh, for Bath and Body Works. I was gifted this one, the pure rustic candle here. I was gifted this one, which has served its purpose, uh, especially on power outages, which we seem to get a lot around here. I uh, Wow, I guess because we just don't have mountains to protect us, we get a lot of wind. This one I only burn on Canada Day, which is why <laughs> I've had it for so long, and it's sentimental because it has Canada's real, original lyrics to O Canada. This is actually a candle from Country Home Candle, which is a Canadian brand, and it's the O Canada candle, and it has our lyrics written on, and it's got the proper wording. So I love that one, and I only burn it on Canada Day. This one was one of my, this is the last one of all my candles that I've had for Throwback Thursday, because no one picked it. <laughs> And so I'm, I'm not stuck with it, but this is not a scent that I would have bought at all. But this, because it's a little bit mm, borderline too spicy, but this is the Yankee Candle Home Classic Spice Cupboard. So, and I got that one for $9.99, but that's $10 I probably could have just saved. And this last one you're gonna see a lot in videos that I do where you see my hands, I'm like showing you my empties and stuff, because I have a whole idea of, 
uh, how I want to have that backdrop. And this candle is gonna go, and I'm gonna only light it when I film those particular videos. It is a, whoopsie, um, it is a DW Home candle. It's it's called, oh, get get your, what is it, get your jingle on, but it's called the Apple Blossom Scent of the Candle. It's actually quite lovely. It's a two wick. I just picked it up, I didn't haul it. Like, you know, I'm at this point, I'm like, I got one candle, I'm not gonna haul it. It's really, really lovely. So that's what you're gonna see burning in my backdrop. So on to like, just go back a little bit here about chopping up candles. Like I said, if you wanna see how I've done it, I've got playlists. If you wanna know where the bags come from, I tell you in those playlists. But chopping, we got a big candle sale coming up. If you are one, if you've ever wanted to buy a little extra, a few extra candles for your collection, for your use and your love and your need and your desire, maybe try your hand at chopping one up. If you're already getting two of one cent, if you want to give one a shot, give it a shot. Thing is, is it's 14.5 ounces of wax that you, of, of, a, of a scent, I was about said flavor, of a scent that you absolutely love. Go for it. Because if you love it, you have, you can, you can chop it up and melt some now. You can bring it out next year. The nice thing about Bath & Body Works candle wax melts for me, and I've got some candles that I've chopped up from that are quite old, like that cranberry pumpkin one is like three or three and a half years old at this point. It still does really well. It's, uh, you don't need, don't need a lot. It goes a long way and you get, you have so much of it. You have 14 and a half ounces of your favorites until hopefully they bring it back, right? So, yeah. And like I've been fortunate, this big, big one here was a Flashpoint candle. The company had um, way back, a couple years ago now, I'd offered to send me this for free. And it was, uh, it was probably one of the first things I think I've ever received. And it was very sweet of them. But um, they, I've decided to not do that um, to coupon code anymore. They actually went away from the, the company dropped all of their um, influencers, I guess, with their codes and then brought it back. But when they brought it back, I said, no, it's okay. It's because it, they are more, they are very lovely candles. I'm gonna say they're great candles, but they're expensive. This is absolutely divine because what it is is it's a one of a kind pottery, heavy pottery with an unscented, this is supposed to be for outdoors because there's 12 wicks in here. So it's supposed to be more outside. It's not any, uh, uh, those, it's not the one for the bugs. It, Neo, Neo Citrin, really? No. Anyway, um, but it is really, it's lovely, but it's $180 or something. I mean, I'm gonna have this amazing bowl and trust me, I'm going to use that bowl for something. It's, it's gorgeous, the pottery is one of a kind. Um, but everyone's gonna do their own thing and that's fine. And you have your favorites that you like to watch, great. And I thank all of you guys for joining me every week. I mean, I feel, uh, oh my gosh, you join me like a couple times a week um, with my videos. And I appreciate that. Uh, and I have been offered, people have wanted to send me candles or send me gift cards. And I have, I have declined very, very kindly. The, the generosity is very sweet. Um, I don't want my channel to be one that it's because uh, I'm not working right now and you know I do have employment insurance but I'm not working right now I got a wedding to pay for you know and we got lots of other bills we've got two mortgages going right on each coast and I'm not hurting but I'm not gonna, not gonna I, I would never take other people's money it's one thing to send a random act of kindness now you know and then I can but I just can't do that no and I would, I would never encourage that. And, but if you feel the need to do that for others, cause there are other YouTubers here who seem to be okay with that, whatever, um, that's up to them and it's working for them. And uh, I'm not that person, never will be that person. So, but uh, on the last end of things, if there for, um, before I forget to, I'm gonna be going live on the 12th of November, 10 o'clock Atlantic time, nine Eastern Standard Time, eight Central Standard Time, six 
Pacific Standard Time, I will be live just by myself for the first time by myself. Oh my God. So if there's anything I didn't talk about um, that you wanted to you know, find out my opinion or while we're here in the collective brain here, people can come up with their own thoughts too. Um, and you might get a bunch of different answers and we'll keep it good. But what was I gonna say? Now I'm totally gapping out. But I just want to thank you guys so much for everything. Um, this channel has grown uh, quite well. Like it's it's wonderful, and I've never felt the pressure to to do one thing over another. I will say this: haul videos. You look on anyone's channel, their haul videos tend to get the most views. This is where I get you know, like this is where I get a little bit like passionate. Because I'm like, sometimes are you hauling to haul for a video only to exchange those candles back again? That's what bothers me. I know what happens. And when you're when you're a YouTube creator and you're buying like a lot, but you're constantly buying a lot. And it's not like again, this YouTube does not pay my bills. In fact, my money has been sitting in the YouTube world from the beginning. It's just sitting there. Like I, it's there. And um, it does not pay bills. It barely even gives you like a little bit of a fun to go buy a candle. Like this candle full price, that would have spent, I would have spent a week making that <laughs> with like a few videos. But that pains me to see sometimes not all of the youtubers out there are doing this but there are a couple that i'm certain what you're doing is you're buying a whole bunch of things and you're getting the views you're pumping up because we all know we love hauls i love watching hauls i love filming them i get excited because i don't do them as much anymore um so when i do them now i'm like oh i'm so excited it's been so long um but i know they're returning them exchanging them the next time the new collection comes in so they're not, they're, they made that initial purchase, but after that, it's free money. It is free. Just bring it in the dollars when it comes to AdSense. Not that it's, again, not that it's a lot. But it's just, it's so frustrating to see you sitting back here and I'm like, what the heck? Like, what? <laughs> like, why are you doing that? Like, it's so, I don't know. It's just not something I would do. And that's fine, because that's you're not going to see that with me. Uh, I've only ever taken back like three candles in my entire time on YouTube just because they were that bad. I was like, no, this is going to go. But everyone's to each his own. And I get it. Um, so that's, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's not, it's not been a necessarily a rant. It's more a factual. I don't hate candles, but I respect my collection. I respect what I now know of all the years that I've been purchasing wax melts, candles, what have you, I know what I like. And more importantly, like finding your mate, your soulmate, I know what I don't like. So if it has a title on it, I'm not going to stick my nose. I'm not going to lift a lid up and waste my time and my precious scent nose sniffing a mahogany teak wood or a Japanese cherry blossom, whatever. No, <laughs> like, no. So... I guess, you know, if you're new to the game, then absolutely, I was there. Totally get it. I get it. But when you've been doing this a while, we all know what we like. And we know, more importantly, again, what we don't like. And, yeah, I don't know what else to say. So when I go live on the 12th, I'm thinking this video will probably be up on the 11th, I'm thinking. It's either the 10th or the 11th. It might be the 10th, maybe. So there should be some time for you guys. Come up with some questions, uh, jump on here. Please help yourself. I am, as I always say but before those live videos, I'm not gonna be able to catch all your comments because they go really quickly, but I will do the best I can as well. So, and then many other people, you guys are great, uh, answer the questions for others and stuff, which is wonderful. So with that said, I love candles. I still do, but I respect my collection. All right, you guys, as always, be safe. Take care and have fun. Bye, guys.